Hi, Tom Willard here with Tom Willard Trading. It is Monday, February 28th. Uh, continuing my basics video series on candlesticks and technical analysis. Um, last week, I'm going to try to keep this really short, but uh, the, the last week, the gist of last week was talking about the difference between fundamental analysis and technical analysis. Technical analysis is king. Uh, it, it gives you the truth. It, it tells you what happened. So regardless of what people are doing, whether they're you know, uh, lying about what they say they're doing, whether they're being honest, whether, you know, there's uh, inside information, lack of inside information, you know, whatever method anyone chooses, on the charts you'll see what, where the stock or the financial instrument traded and what the volume was um, for that time. And, and what happens is the technical representation of the candlesticks gives you the basic psychology of what's going on um, if you know how to read them in the particular instrument or stock you're looking to trade. So um, that uh, it was the gist of last week. This week I'm going to talk a little bit more about um, the trends. So here I've got Google and the only reason I pulled up Google is because everyone knows Google and uh, I don't trade Google very often but uh, I've got a weekly chart of Google. So in this chart here you'll see 2010 is this broken line here. So this is the first week of 2010, the second week of 2010, the third week of 2010 and you can see that the first four weeks of 2010, Google had a bad month, right? It opened up at around $620 a share, a little over $620 a share. And by the end of that month, the first four weeks, it was at around $540 a share. So it lost, what, $20, $40, $60, $80, $80, $80 a share um, during that first four months of 2010, okay? Um, then it paused, and you can see that the, the, in, during these weeks here, it paused, and then it moved back up, got as high as $580, okay? And then it turned around and it came down and down and down and down and down, down to a low of about $440 a share in July, late June, July of 2010. Now, from 2010 till present, you can see that the price has gone from $440 to around $610, $615 today, right? So we've had a pretty nice move up of almost $200 a share on Google. And so in, in this little trend, this, this, area between January and July of 2010, Google was in what we call a downtrend. Now I'm going to pull up the, week, the daily chart in a second to kind of drill down in here, but um, you'll see it's making lower lows, right, and lower highs. Here it made one little short higher high, but then turned right around, came down, okay? And then all of a sudden here we put in a higher low, okay, and then we moved up pretty strongly pulled back made a higher low this low here is higher than this low and so now it's uptrending again and it's reaching that same area where it was uh, a little over a year ago which is in the low 600s right so that's basically how you read the candlesticks and you see the trend and so right now the 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 um, force or the how should you say the the tide is higher because we are in an uptrend but now we have to look at this daily chart if we trade on a swing trading basis, the, the two time frames that we use is the weekly, which I just showed you, and the daily. Now, it, based on the lesson you had last week, the weekly chart shows you five days of trading action in those bars. So let me go back to it. So this is five days, this is five days, okay? And that's the trading action that happened, okay? Now on the, um, on the, on the daily chart, it's one day of action. So you'll see today, for example, Google opened at $610 a share went up as high as $616.49 a share and went as low as $608.01 a share okay and it closed at 613.40 so you'll see it closed higher than it opened giving it a green candle okay and that was the range indicated by the tails as I talked about the candlesticks last week and so here you can see this is in, in, in more of an uptrend as well in general right higher lows higher highs except for this is a lower high here so there could we could be at a turning point in Google I don't know. It's getting pretty crazy up in here. This is some pretty big ranges. If you look at the ranges here and the candles and the days, as opposed to here, you can see there's a lot of things happening. So this usually indicates a lot of volatility, and oftentimes it means a change in trend. Even though I said on the weekly we've been an uptrend, but now we're back up near these previous highs. Okay. Now, if we were to step up to a monthly chart, let's take a look at a monthly chart real quick just to see what the big, big picture is on Google. You'll see that the mar it made a high here in late 2007 of about a little over $700 a share, right? Came down, came all the way back up, took out this high, and now retesting the high area. So we could get another move down here. It's it's perfectly possible with the resistance point here that we come back down. Okay, 
So that's how you look at various time frames and trends. And you typically, if you guys have, have heard, and I'm sure you have, the axiom, the trend is your friend. If the trend is up, you want us to keep going long on it. And what you do is you look to buy pullbacks, right, or bases. And I'm going to talk about breakouts next week, um, but uh, I wanted to just kind of get you some more grounding in how the candlesticks and the trends work. And so here, you're in more of a, you can go long or short because it's more of a sideways trend, okay? Now, if we go back in time, you'll see here, if we go back, you'll see this bottoming, right? Where this was with that big move in the uptrend here on the daily chart that was shown on that weekly, okay? And the big downtrend is here. You can see the downtrend here on the daily chart, okay? So there's always, the trends can be changing at all time, but typically a trend will last uh, on a daily chart for quite some time, and this works for all time frames. So if you go down to a 60-minute chart, where each bar indicates 60 minutes of trading action, it would be a little bit, uh, a little bit different. You would see different little trends in in these bars on the daily within that smaller time frame, and all the way down to the micro time frames, which are like the two-minute and five-minute time frames. Hope you found that uh, useful this week. If you have any questions, give me a shout. Tom at TomWillardTrading.com uh, is my email address. Have a great week, guys, and uh, look for the Psych blog on Thursday.